creators that are sitting in the back rows with our current freshman class. They are here to, they're here to shadow the young creators for our program, so please give them a warm welcome. Good morning. Oh, that's, is that loud? That's good. This morning I have the pleasure of inducting Jamie Adam Rome into our Athletic Hall of Fame. Mr. Rome is not only a member of the Tilton School Class of 1980, he has served as the president of our Alumni Association and is currently a member of our Board of Trustees. The Athletic Hall of Fame honors alumni and coaches who have excelled in athletics while at Tilton or the years following. And although we will present most of our inductees tomorrow morning, we made the decision to honor Mr. Rome today so that his wife Lila and his children Henry and David could be here. And we also want to welcome his former faculty members and coaches, Mr. Sam Brickley, and Mr. John Conley. Let's give them a warm welcome. I've had the chance to know Mr. Rome for six years now. And Jamie, or Romy as he was known here in Tilton, arrived in September 1976 and sat in those back rows as a freshman. While he was here, he excelled in baseball, football, and basketball. As a freshman, Jamie played second base on the varsity baseball team and batted in the seventh position in the rotation. For his first season as a freshman, he attained a batting average of 270 and made significant contributions to a team dominated by seniors and postgraduates. During his senior year, his teammates also elected him captain of the team. Jimmy was also a force on the football field, playing every down of every game he started. He was also elected captain his senior year and inspired his team by leading them in tackles. And in addition to the eight letters he earned from four years of both football and basketball, he received one additional letter his senior year for playing on the basketball team. And during his short basketball career, he started every game as either a point guard or a shooting guard, averaging eight points a game. After Tilton, Mr. Rowe went on to play four years of varsity football at Washington University in St. Louis. He also continued his passion for sports after college. After graduating from Wash U, Jamie played competitive softball and was a, a member of the team that won the City of St. Louis League Championship in 1986. And he also completed several marathons, logging more than 25,000 miles as a runner over a decade. He also found time to play on a men's traveling lacrosse team when he was living in Chicago. And even though he is a little older and maybe can't run as fast as he used to, Jamie still coaches lacrosse today in his town's lacrosse league. Mr. Rome, through his hard work and his talents, inspired his classmates while he was here at Tilton School. After graduating, he did the same not only as a college athlete, but as a financial services professional, as a coach, and as a father. For his outstanding athletic achievements at Tilton and beyond, it is my honor and privilege to induct Mr. Jamie Adam Rome, Tilton Class of 1980, into the Tilton School Athletic Hall of Fame.
told me to keep it short, so I'll keep it to under 25 minutes. Um, it's a pleasure to be here and be able to speak to you. And there's just a few things I want to say. One, I want to give thanks to people who have helped me um, over the course of my career, and I'm sure all of you have, will have, and have had that at Tilton as far as coaches and mentors. And I think Sam Brickley and uh, John Conley, who were mentioned before, they both coached me in football. Uh, Mr. Brickley coached me in 1976 and 1977, Mr. Conley in 1978 and 1979, my junior and senior year. Um, Mr. Brickley was kind enough to allow me to play my freshman year when we didn't have a JV team. And uh, in his more words, you know, you might get your, your tail kicked out there, but we'll let you play. And uh, Mr. Connolly wrote me my recommendation for college, so I appreciate both of them. <laughs> my father is here, along with his fiance, and my mom couldn't be here, but they supported me. And then my, my son David and Henry, who both play lacrosse. My wife, <laughs> my wife Lila, and uh, my daughter Samantha couldn't be here today, so thanks to my family, who uh, of course I love dearly. <laughs> and just briefly, what, what does sports mean to people, to kids and adults? I think that you learn a lot of life lessons in sports, you have shared experiences that, you know, you, 40 years from now, if you're up here or wherever you are, and you're talking to other people, you'll have the opportunity to convey your ideas and your thoughts of what happened to you in your life. Um, sports are great because they're really an analogy for life. They allow, they allow people to learn about teamwork and character and uh, sportsmanship, and I think those are really important. Uh, and the way that you behave toward people when you play sports is how you're going to live in life. And so I think that it's really important when you play sports, to think of that, and just think of, uh, you know, I think of golf. I played golf with Mr. Hollingsworth the other day, and he's a fantastic golfer. But, you know, I was told early on when I started playing golf at the right age of 33, that, uh, you know, if you don't cheat in golf, it's kind of an analogy to life. You could kick the ball, or you could move it over, or you could take the putt. But if you play your game, you know, that's an analogy of how you behave as a person. In your life. So I think that it's important to think about sports that way and think of how they'll help you develop as an adult. And then the other thing that I would say is giving back, and uh, Mr. Saliba, who I'm thankful for as the uh, head of the school and all he's done for the school, um, mentioned that I'm a trustee. I think being involved in either the institutions that help you as you advance your life or the people that help you your life, whether it's through sports, or academics, or in your career, it's really important to think about how you give back to those places. And I don't want to make it too somber because it is Powder Cake Weekend, so I hope you guys have a, a great time against New Hampton, and I thank you all for being here today.